we come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. Wendy Williams tried to warn us about Diddy decades ago, and she was right all along. Wendy Williams is a legendary radio and TV host known for her unfiltered opinions and willingness to call out celebrities, including hip hop mogul P. Diddy. She was on Hot 97 back in the 90s. I remember listening to her on the radio here in Brooklyn. And, and over the years, Wendy warned the public about Diddy's behind the scenes behavior, leading to tension between the two. Despite facing backlash and basically being blackballed by many in the industry, Many people believe that Diddy played a role in blackballing Wendy Williams from New York City Radio in the late 1990s and early 2000s. When I saw that, knowing the history behind all of that. Because uh, you know the history. Yeah, well, break it down for our listeners. No. I wasn't, okay. <laughs> no, I don't feel like it. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted of the history. But y'all had bad blood for a while. Real Did bad. You, real bad blood. The worst blood. The worst blood. You almost mm -hmm. wanted to run you out of New York at one point, right? Run. Well, ran. not run. You know, like push you out of New York ran at one point. Oh, he was. Oh, well, he had you ran out. You give him full credit for that. You get. Wendy Williams frequently discussed Diddy's alleged involvement in controversial incidents on her radio show, including the rumors about his personal life and business dealings. Wendy continued to speak out, often hinting at the darker sides of Diddy's empire. Something that seems more relevant today as he faces serious legal allegations. So there is a YouTube channel, I think it's called Wendy Archives, that had a, basically an entire compilation of all the things that she said back in the day that now we realize that she was right. The first clip I want to show you guys is the 1999 New York Club shooting. Um, we'll make a bigger video about this later on, but she explains it in good detail about what the hell happened, where Diddy and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez was running away from the cops. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Here I go. Why y'all home? Well, right? everybody, the Puffy Combs trial mm -hmm. has begun, and you know, oh, the prosecutors are saying that Puffy fired at least one gunshot into the ceiling ah, of the nightclub, boy. which is like ridiculous. Um, this whole thing happened back, of course, in December of '99. Um, the comment came during the opening statements, and uh, three people were injured during a shooting. Of course, Shine and Anthony Wolf Jones. The um, bodyguard will also be standing trial. SUV without Puffy. Right. They ran 11 lights to elude the cops. Um, supposedly it was Puffy, although people are saying they saw a female hand tossing a gun out the window. Uh -huh. And um, then when the cops stopped them, they found a second gun, of course, in the car. Right. All four of the occupants, the driver, the bodyguard, Puffy and Jennifer, were handcuffed and taken down to the precinct. And um, eventually Puffy and his bodyguard, Wolf, were overheard talking about their plot to bribe the driver to take the rap for the gun. And Puffy was overheard saying, and I quote, because the prosecutor said this, I can't go to jail. I'm Puff Daddy. Interesting, because now the feds are going to revisit that situation that happened 25 years ago. It shows that Puffy cares about Puffy. He doesn't care about anybody else. He realized that he left his girlfriend. Imagine leaving Jennifer Lopez. 1999, Jennifer Lopez. You leave her when there's a shooting at a club which looks like allegedly he may have started, left everybody. When it was time for him to go, he does not care about anybody but himself. I'm gonna make a video about this situation in the next couple of days, kind of revisiting that situation, but it kind of shows what kind of person he is. And the fact that Wendy Williams had no problem criticizing Diddy in New York City, where he lives at that point, in the 90s, where Diddy was so big, so powerful, that many people did not try to criticize him. But let's continue. And Puffy, you had me speeding through numerous traffic lights, doing gunplay in a nightclub. You remember, you had me do the perp walk and spend a few hours in jail, die! Wendy Williams had an insider view of the entertainment industry's dark side. And that's what she did a lot on her TV show and her radio show. And what she said back then, it was basically a warning shot. What secrets were being covered up? Diddy's reputation was carefully managed and protected. But Wendy wasn't afraid to hint that there was more to the story. And now we see there's deeper truths coming out to light. And it's almost as if Wendy was preparing the world for this unraveling. Wendy Williams could be provocative and her commentary can be as such, but it was almost like a call to action for people to look closer, to pay attention, to realize that this guy 
had some problems. And just because he was making the hits and he was friends with all these celebrities, she wanted us to pay attention to what was going on. But we do have to investigate things around here. We don't just fly by the seat of our pants and just start talking. You know what I mean? So the investigation is done, and now I can talk about Puffy and Drake and the punch in the face. It's time for a celebrity fight. Hit it! Okay, so the city, Miami, the nightclub, Live. Okay, <laughs> that's what Live. Um, Puffy was furious. Well, some people were saying that Puffy was furious because Drake tried to hit on his girlfriend, Cassie. But that's not what happened. What happened is Puffy's furious that Drake scored the song zero from 100 because Puffy felt the song belonged to him. So Drake ended up recording it. And as you know, that's the song of the summer. And, you know, a song that everybody snaps their neck to. And Puffy missed out on a big hit. So the guys see each other at Live Nightclub. Next thing you know, Puffy punches Drake in the face. Well, at first, I'm like, how uncivilized. There has to be more to this. Let's investigate. Well, well, we did. And apparently this punch in Drake's face from Puffy is 10 months long overdue. And I'm gonna tell you why. Drake has a history of disrespecting Puffy. And I've got the video footage to prove it. Look at this. Look at this, watch what happens. Drake mics, sit. Now you know. You don't snatch somebody's microphone. Even when we do Ask Wendy, you know, I hold onto my mic tight the second somebody wants to take it. I'm like, no. You know, what's worse? You know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that shouldn't, you shouldn't have to deny, which is your sexuality. So I hear what Jamar is saying, but uh, we come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. And the thing is that this was not necessarily the most protected secret out there. It looks like a lot of people knew about it, but only a very few that would talk about, especially back in the 90s. There were rumors, there were people that were saying things. You would see, you'll see how Diddy moved and talked and, and did certain things, how certain celebrities didn't want to speak about it, but they all knew what was happening. Actually, there's a footage of Usher talking about his experience with Diddy when he was 13 years old. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy? camp <laughs> yeah. hell no <laughs> and there was a time allegedly that did he try to use one of his artists a group of artists to beat up wendy williams at the radio station all right i remember i got off the air one day and them <laughs> the total bitches were downstairs waiting and everybody upstairs at the radio station is looking down Egging it on, waiting for something to go down. I wasn't yet married. My knight in shining armor screeched up in his car just out of nowhere. Didn't even know. I didn't even know what was about to happen. I'm standing in the door like, what? And I'm literally about to go through. Now, I'm not like, what? Like, what? Let's fight. Because I'm not one of those type of broads. And plus, there was three of them. The little Chinese man that drove the van. They were coming. There was no security or anything. It was just them three fighting broads. And me. And my co-workers at shot standing upstairs trying to look down to see it all jump off. They all knew. When I said goodnight to everybody, Everybody's pressed up against the window. I didn't even walk or bother asking, what are you all looking for? Because you know when the clock strikes, it's time to go. It is time to go. I, I didn't get a chance to hit the sidewalk before I knew it out of nowhere. And uh, there's a whole bunch of rah-rah going on outside, and I'm still trying to figure out what that was going on. And I send Cower and Skell out on the sidewalk, and he comes back in and says, it's total outside. And they were, they were about to set it on you. But you notice that? Total the group that was signed by Diddy, Bad Boy, which I actually like their songs, was ready to fight Wendy Williams. An up and coming, really good, talented R&B group, probably being told by Diddy to go and fight Wendy Williams because she said some things that he did not appreciate. Diddy had the ability to control a lot of people. Wendy Williams often hinted at the fact that the industry had a way of protecting people like Diddy while leaving their victims to fend for themselves. 
So Diddy tried to use this girl group total to crash out and basically assault a radio host. What happened if that actually happened? They go to jail. Will Diddy try to bail them out? What makes this story more poignant is the fact that Wendy Williams likely knew the toll this was going to take on her and her career. She was able to rebound. She was able to have the TV show. She was able to have basically the kind of success that she deserved because she's extremely talented and people like that kind of entertainment. But she wasn't oblivious to the dangers of speaking out against powerful people like Diddy. But she did it anyway. And that courage is something that should not be overlooked. In many ways, she was ahead of her time speaking out during an era where people didn't want to talk about it, especially women willing to challenge some of the most powerful figures in the industry and do it publicly. Looking back, it's hard not to feel a sense of respect for Wendy Williams. She fought a lot of battles that no one else would and in many ways paved the way for a new era of at least accountability and honesty in, in some of our media. Unfortunately, her health has taken a toll and I don't know if she's going to be able to fully witness and appreciate the reckoning that Diddy is, is going through, but she was able to tell the truth and especially when it came to Diddy, it was undeniable. So put in the comments below, guys, if you were in New York City at the time and listened to Radio Williams on the radio on Hot 97, let me know. Put in the comments below. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.